Now to an HOA turf war. A Valley homeowner is battling with her homeowners association after she switched from natural grass to artificial grass. And the fight has now led to a proposed law. As Team 12's Josh Sanders shows us tonight, this is about more than just front yard aesthetics as Arizona continues to deal with a major water crisis. Homeowner Sherry Lund thought installing artificial turf last fall in her front yard was a no-brainer. I save $1,100 a month on water. I saw all the water being wasted. Here we are in a drought situation in our state. Our grass wouldn't grow in the summer. The heat was so intense, couldn't grow anything and have it live. But Sherry says her HOA found her in violation of community bylaws, telling her if she didn't remove the fake grass, she'd be fined $250 a day. We reached out to the HOA, but did not hear back. I couldn't believe it. I said, no, this isn't right. Now this turf war is heading to the state capitol. HB 2131 simply allows people who live in HOAs to have high quality artificial grass in areas where their HOA allows natural grass. State Representative John Cavanaugh says his bill goes beyond how a front yard looks and addresses Arizona's looming water crisis, one of several southwestern states facing a mega drought. We expect yet another reduction in our Lake Mead water supply, one that will also begin to hit cities. For homes that have natural grass, 90% of the water they consume is to water the lawn. Gary Woodard like with Water Resources the Consulting says the majority of new developments in the state are already installing artificial turf as opposed to real grass. Woodard says Kavanaugh's bill is a step in the right direction in the state's fight to conserve water, but thinks more can be done. I don't like the thought that some HOAs are essentially trying to set water policy. Sherry remains optimistic the bill will pass, and together Arizonans can tackle a problem that's bigger than a blade of fake grass. We can make a difference. Josh Sanders, 12 News.